three. How do you want it? How do you want it? Yo, what's good, y'all? It's your boy Crush. Let's get into the fit. Hey, how you doing? So, hmm, here today about this latest lawsuit with the P. Diddy, Puff Daddy, Puffy, Sean Puffy Combs, whatever you want to call them, lawsuit that has come out involving the producer Little Rod. So basically his last two lawsuits, or last two major lawsuits, um, the one with Cassie, she made mention that Puffy made her carry his guns into nightclubs and wherever they went. And he threatened her to make her feel like she had to do so. And of while there were lots of things of importance, that stood out to me. And I'm going to tell you why. In this lawsuit with the producer Little Rod, they were both essayed by him and threatened and physically harmed. But in this lawsuit, he appears to be a very young producer to me, but he said something very specific. As a means of threatening him, Puffy said, that's why I shot up the club in New York back in 1999 and let Shine take the fall for it. Let me tell you why that's of utmost importance to me. Diddy's no better than Shug. Puffy's a straight up bully, man. So Diddy been out here low key bullying dudes, you know, doing the same thing Shug is doing, but on a more quieter level. You know, Shug is more open with it. You know, he's more blatant in your face. It is what it is type of situation. But Diddy was doing the same thing, but more so you know, in the background, more quieter, but they both did the same thing. The man is a bully. That's crazy. So Diddy was out here just going crazy, man. Because I am the woman who he shot in the face in that 1999, December 27th, 1999, Club New York shooting. I have told everyone ad nauseum since then, even the surgeon who did the surgery to take the bullet, I got shot in my face with a nine millimeter, excuse me, nine millimeter hollow point bullet called a cop killer. I literally have told everyone and never changed what I said. I watched him. I got pow powed in the face. I watched him fire the gun. I've said it. All Damn, so Diddy shot her, made Shine take the rap for it, and then when Shine did his bid, came home, Diddy was fronting on his payments, didn't take care of his moms, because at one point Shine had issue with that, you know, saying Diddy didn't really, you know, take care of his moms while he was locked up. So the plan was Shine was going to take the rap for Diddy, and Diddy would make sure his, you know, his mom is straight, you know, take care of all the financial needs, whatever. But Diddy reneged on that whole agreement. So when Shine came out, he was pissed off. You know, he, he wasn't feeling what took place. You know, how Diddy did him after he done took the fall for this man? Yo, Diddy is slimy, man. That's just crazy. And Shine, I'm sure he thought he was doing a, you know, a loyal thing. This is my brother. I know when I get back home, he's going to take care of me. So I'll take the fall for him, thinking this man is his brother. But no, Diddy's a snake. He only cares about himself. What makes you think he cares about your well-being? All he cares about is his well-being. As long as he's straight, that's it. That's crazy, man. So the whole time, everybody's thinking Shine shot, you know, Shine is the one who pulled the trigger. It was Diddy that whole time. That's crazy. This time, even the surgeon who did my surgery to take out part of the bullet fragments that was aspirating into my lungs and try to remove as many bullet fragments as possible testified in the criminal trial that while they were putting me under, I was screaming, Puffy, pew, pew, me in the face. That's crazy. He testified in the criminal trial. It is in the record. They all knew he did it. Everybody knew he did it. But he paid off the club bouncer named Sharice and all these other people and the club owners with their video to hide the video. That's and that's how it goes half the time. 
somebody who has prominence, fame, they're rich, you could pay your way through a lot of situations. You could pay your way through a lot of situations, you know, pay off the bouncer, pay off the club owner to hide the videos. You could pay off whoever you need to pay to hide evidence, basically, you know, so you won't get, you know, you won't get charged, you won't be doing time. So Diddy basically paid off everybody, made Shine take the rap, paid Shine for taking the fall for him. That's crazy, man. But this is what happened when you're in that kind of position, that status, and you have the money. Crimes the average person would do time for, you can make it go away. It's his M.O. I told everybody that. This man almost took my life, has traumatized my life, has caused undue harm, irreparable damage to my life, lied his behind off. I've had all these youngins on the internet harassing me, swearing that I'm making it up that he did it. And look what he did to Little Rod. He threatened him. Oh, you don't think I bust my gun? I shot up the club in Club New York and let Shine take the fall for it. I shot them people. Well, well, well. It only took 24, 24 whole years for it to come out. You see this tattoo? This commemorates me getting shot. It took 24 years for him to come out and say it. I've been saying it all along, but y'all pick and choose who y'all want to believe. That's a fact. People do pick and choose. Fans do pick and choose. Half the times, the victims, they get clowned, you know, treated like crap, basically. People don't believe them. You know, they get scrutinized. And the guy who did the crime, they're looked at as the good guy. It's always like that because, you know, you're famous. Your fans love you. People love your music or they love who you are. So they'll turn the other cheek and the victim will be laughed at. They don't take you seriously. Why would this woman feel the need to lie about getting shot in the face? Like, come on. I don't know what Diddy did, man, but everybody now is out to get him. Everybody's trying to take this man down. And as you can see, all this dirt is surfacing and he have done a lot. Nobody knew Diddy did this much. Of course, we know about the shooting in the club. Nobody knew what he did to Cassie. That's all new. And just all the other allegations. And this man is in for it, man. This man is in for it. They're really trying to R. Kelly, this dude. Oh, baby. You ain't seen nothing yet. Not only did he pew, 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 pew me in the face, he also set off a course of harassment against me for the past 24 years. When I tell you the things I went through, there was a time in... 2017 and 2018, where I got seven flats on my BMW, seven, the same tire, in a two-year span, seven, on the same tire. Diddy is a menace to society. This man is out here thugging and bugging, straight thugging and bugging. He's just doing it under the radar, low-key. He's not like, you know, out blatant like Suge with it, you know. He's more quiet low-key with it, but Diddy been out here just running amok, doing the same thing Shug been doing. That's crazy. Out here harassing people, shooting people in the face, all types of madness, beating up all his girlfriends, assaulting them, all types of madness. And now everything is surfacing, and it's not looking good, man. It's not looking good for Diddy. And they were all new. Every time it happened, I had to get a new tie. I have the pictures to prove it. Harassing me. You want to know why? Because prior to Cassie, I was the only person to be victimized by him and then to successfully sue him and get paid. And he had to pay me out of his pocket. He has never gotten over that. Oh, baby. You see this Rico charge that's about to come? This conspiring and peering pew up the club and ruining or attempting to ruin my life. As God is my witness, I will not stop until you suffer. Every Yo, they're trying to finish Diddy, man. Mortal Kombat style. Finish him. Everybody's coming for this man. All the evidence being 
conjured against him, all the witnesses, the, all the testimonies, the statements. Yo, Diddy is in for some deep shh, man. And this is like what they said. You do dirt, you get dirt. When you out here doing bad, sh you know, mistreating people, just committing crimes, whatever it may be, and just doing bad shit and being evil, eventually it all comes back 360s, man. It all come back tenfold. And now everybody's out to get Diddy. Everybody's trying to take this dude down. It's crazy. They're trying to really take this man out the game. So he had a run. We're going to see what happened, man. But they're really trying to get him out of here. Every single iota of punishment until I have every second of recompense that you took for me. For every tear that I had to cry or my children had to cry, I am going to get a million back from you. Reparation is a mother. I will not stop until you pay the price for what you did to my life. And for all you people out there on the internet and in cyberspace and in the far reaches of my life or the perimeters or wherever, who always like, I'm she just saying that to get some hell. What you got to say now? What you got to say now? I don't know why people feel like or act like they know celebrities so personally. You don't know these people. You just see them on your screen, you know, on TV, whatever the case. You listen to their music, watch their movies, whatever. You don't personally know these people. But for some reason, fans feel so connected that when a situation happens or if they do something wrong, they'll harass you, you know, they'll drive you mad, try to destroy your life over somebody they don't even know personally, who don't give a shit about them. Like the fanboyism is insane. You don't even know these people. But this is how fans act over people they'll never meet who don't give a crap about them, don't even know they exist. I had some youngins on the internet that ain't even old enough, that weren't even alive when it happened, arguing me down, cussing me out, calling me everything but a child of God. Go check Instagram. It's there. Harassing my life. Harassing me. Oh, you lying. He ain't do that to you. You just want clout. You just chasing clout. What is that to chase clout about? And she's How the victim. Is that clout chase worthy. It doesn't even make sense. You don't. She's well, the victim. I guess it would make sense in this new generation. But you better believe. Because they're weird, I man. I will have my say. I will have my say. Hashtag having my say. Hashtag the dopest nerd ever. Yeah. Diddy better keep a Bible near, man. I don't know if prayers are going to help him in this situation. Because they are gunning for this man. Everybody's trying to get him. All the allegations, the testimonies. It's going to be tough, man. This one is not looking good at all. Hashtag Ebb Talks. Y'all ain't seen or heard nothing yet. As always, hit the subscribe button, I like, comment, the best share, and the holla at your boy.